Hi, my name is Nancy Bruning and I am a part-time writer and a part-time fitness uh, instructor. I um, am the author of 25 books about health and fitness and I'm also the creator of Nancercise that is the benchmark in outdoor fitness. I say it's the benchmark in outdoor fitness because we only use benches as our exercise equipment. I um, uh, invented this because I thought there were a lot of people out there who uh, were intimidated by the gym. Um, as a fitness instructor, I'm a certified fitness instructor, and um, I was meeting a lot of people who would maybe not feel like they were enjoying themselves too much when I worked with them in a gym. And I also at one point became the president of a nonprofit for uh, maintaining a park in my own neighborhood, so parks were on my mind. In um, 2003, I started to get my um, master's degree in public health, and I became aware that focusing on the gym and focusing on a lot of ways that people were being told uh, they needed to exercise wasn't really getting the job done. So I was looking for a way that would reach more people, um, either because they could afford it more or it would seemed more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, it seemed more normal. A lot of times uh, people would tell me that the gym and a lot of exercise routines using weights and using stuff like that that you know wasn't something that was part of their lives um, that, that seemed really kind of artificial and I think this is one of the reasons that a lot of people don't have uh, very much um, interest in trying to find the time to be physically active. Um, I like to try to help them integrate that in with their lives, in with their community, and in with their environment. They don't need to go to a special uh, artificial environment in order to work out that uh, movement can be part of their overall day. I, um, I just wanted to mention that uh, Nancer size to me sounds a little egotistical, but I actually didn't invent the name. Uh, one of my students came to me after the class and she was all rosy cheeked and all sweaty and all happy and you know, the endorphins were buzzing around and she said, why exercise when you can exercise?" And so I was looking for a name for my business and I thought, hmm, that's not too bad. But as I said, it did sound a little egotistical, but I haven't found anything better. So, so there it is. It's called Nancercise. Um, I do have uh, several degrees in, uh, cer several certifications in fitness. I'm a personal trainer. I uh, am also a group fitness instructor. Uh, I started out as, uh, as I mentioned, I'm a writer. Actually, I still spend most of my time writing and editing my own work and, and work for other people. Um, but uh, at one point I realized, even though I was going to the gym and taking all these yoga classes and being very, um, you know, active compared to what most people were doing at the time, I felt that well, my mother always said I had ants in my pants, and so um, the ants in my pants were were itching me, and I felt like I couldn't really sit down so much during the day, and I became a massage practitioner, actually, to start out with, uh, and then when I, that was in San Francisco, and then when I moved back to New York, I thought I didn't want to be a massage practitioner here. Uh, I moved to, uh, to being a personal trainer and then a fitness, uh, a group fitness instructor. Um, let's see, my philosophy, my fitness philosophy is that everyone has the right to be fit. Like you have a right to clean air, uh, right to clean water, uh, right to good food, that you also have the right to have uh, access to physical activity. And uh, also that fitness isn't just about your body, it's also about your mind and about your soul. And a lot of these ingredients seem to be missing from a lot of other fitness regimes. Uh, you go, you sweat, you lift things, you, you know, throw stuff around, whatever you're doing, and then you, and then you leave. Um, what I like about uh, Nancercise is that it's all, it's all done outdoors, and it's done outdoors preferably in your own local environment. Uh, 
almost everyone these days has a park or a plaza or a trail or something near them where they can go outdoors even during the day when they're at work, hopefully, and if not, hopefully that's going to change. Um, as we realize that nature is really a very, very, very important component of overall health. And uh, why not, why not combine activity with nature? If physical activity is good for you and makes you feel good, and nature is good for you and makes you feel good, um, especially in the area of stress and renewal, we feel refreshed and renewed when we go out into nature. Um, even if we're not exercising. So if you combine nature and exercise into the same activity, you're getting basically double the, um, double the benefits uh, in the same amount of time. Um, so I really think outdoor exercise is a great way to go. Uh, maybe not an answer size, you know, in particular for everybody, but in general I would love people to think about how they can just be more active going outside. It could just be for a walk. Um, for a lot of people, just going for a walk every day, say 20 minutes or a half an hour, would be a huge improvement in what they're already doing, because many people don't even get that. And for me, and maybe for you, if you're listening and watching this, you find it hard to believe that somebody can't find 20 or 20 minutes or half an hour just to go outdoors, but they do. Um, now the problem, if they just start out with walking, and walking is a great place to start for, for many people, because everybody can do it pretty much, or you can, you can wheel yourself out, right? Um, uh, the problem with walking is that it's, uh, it's only a beginning, and there's so much more to what your body needs. Uh, for instance, um, upper body. Women do not have very much upper body strength, and uh, so you need to add something to that, and that's where Nancer Size comes in, or something like Nancer Size. What I've done is I, I've created a way to do a circuit in a park so that uh, you can um, you can plot your way around uh, a park and make a circuit and stop along the way to do upper body exercises, core exercises, lower body exercises, stretches, depending on what you need. In the book I have over 30 possible workouts, ways to combine the 101 exercises. Um, and this is the type of thing that you can do um, in short bursts. You can do it five minutes here, ten minutes there, um, or you can do what I usually do, which is I go out for an hour. I teach these classes, hour-long classes in parks in mostly in New York City. Um, the other thing that I like about uh, my philosophy is that um, a lot of people don't really want to exercise on their own or they're just too... Um, They don't know what to do and they need some motivation and they really should have some people around them. And so Nancercise is a great way to form a small group. I really would love to train people, not fitness people necessarily, but you know, regular people say, come on out, you know, say to their friends, come on out or their family, let's just take a walk and let's do some push-ups, let's do a little ab work, let's let's stretch a little bit, and then we're done for the day. And it's very, 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 very simple. Um, so I noticed that myself, I don't really, I, confession, I don't really exercise on my own um, unless I'm really, really desperate. And so having these classes is actually a way to keep me disciplined and to get me out. And I feel like I'm not that unusual. So if people know that other people are waiting for them and depending on them and that they're going to be there to have a social event um, while they're exercising, I think they're more likely to um, to stick to uh, an exercise routine and to show up. Um, was it Woody Allen that said 80% of life is showing up or something like that? So, you know, just show up and uh, that's half the battle. Um, so, uh, I think this is, you know, different than what other people are saying. Um, it's a pretty low-key approach. It's um, you know, it really isn't that competitive, I have to say. I know this is about a competition, but it's not that competitive because, um, why? I don't, I don't really care how many push-ups I can do, and I don't really care how many push-ups somebody else can do. What's the point of doing the push-ups? It gets back to your definition of fitness, and mine would be 
how much fun are you having, how much are you likely to do it, and how does it affect your daily life. If you do 200 push-ups or if you do 20 push-ups, is that going to make a significant difference in how well you can function? Uh, I, I deal with people of all ages, including some um, seniors, and believe me, if they can do two push-ups, that's, that's like, you know, that's a really big improvement. Um, I, uh, I would love America to know that fitness doesn't have to be a big deal. It can be going out dancing. It can be just, you know, like an exercise, going out just for a walk in the park and adding a few things and maybe invent your own stuff. You know, I didn't write the Bible. I wrote 101 things to do on a park bench. You can use that as a springboard for coming up with your own things, and maybe that's even a way to get your kids and your family involved. I think kids would really love to uh, to be more creative. When I did the video, I did a video called "101 Things to Do on a Park Bench," and that's on my on my um, on my website, and it's for free. Anybody can take a look at it. Um, there was this little kid in the neighborhood. He was walking back and forth, walking back and forth while we were doing the taping, and finally at the end, he jumps on a park bench and he starts making up his own stuff. And um, fortunately, the camera was still running, so we caught him and we got him in the videotape. And that's the kind of spirit that uh, I would like to have uh, permeate the whole fitness genre uh, in the world and in this country, is that you can do it. Uh, it's not a big deal. Make stuff up. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be endless. Mm, 1,200 uh, bicep curls with your, with your weights. Um, just have a really good, um, have a good time. And uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention was that, um, you know, this is more like what the rest of the world does. It's, I've traveled all around the world and I've lived in Europe and, um, yeah, you know, things are changing and it depends on where you are, but um, they have a much more natural uh, approach to uh, to fitness. They take a walk after dinner. When I lived in, I lived in Switzerland and we lived, lived near a river and it was just every evening we would take a walk along the river after dinner. It was, wasn't even a topic of discussion. It was just like, okay, you ready to go now? Yeah, let's go now. And uh, that would be so nice if people could just take a walk after dinner together. Um, and, you know, don't think of exercise as a punishment or something that you have to do. Uh, think of it as something that you get to do. You know, I'm getting to go outside now, and I'm getting to look at nature, and I'm and I'm getting to have some candy. Actually, some people talk about exercise as as uh, medicine, but uh, maybe it's because I grew up in a candy store. I think of it more as like a delicious treat. So I do want to invite everyone to enjoy me and <laughs> to join me, <laughs> maybe enjoy me, um, to join me in having their delicious treat which is called Lancer Size.